Mastiff. Hi guys to everyone, it's Ada from Poison Rock and uh, it's really, I have the really honor to have with me today, Jim from Mastiff. First of all, how is going? The toughest question. It's, it's going good, yeah, it's good, thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you all and yeah. Yeah, it's great to have you. <laughs> it's been a long day for both of us, so this, we're going to take it slow. And uh, <laughs> first, congratulations for the sound. I mean, I fucking love the sound of Mastiff. It's a uh, rough and uh, straight like a knife it's amazing yeah yeah well that's about yeah that's a good way of putting it yeah yeah congratulations because um I'm, I'm honest i didn't have a lot of much of knowledge of, of mastiff before this uh this the, the precipice but i kind of dig it and i was like damn it i mean i need this to listen you know when you are like uh, you have this kind of anger inside of you or something you want to express or at least kind of frustration, you know, like the kind of shout yeah, yeah. out, let's say. Get it, get it off your, yeah, get it out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, of yeah. course, the last album, I mean, is the press is, is we, we, it will be released um, the 22nd of March, if I'm right. That's correct, yeah. But uh, let's say that the band just released a little, just a couple of albums, an EP before, just a little one. <laughs> Just before speaking before about you know about uh, the la the upcoming album and the preview releases, I want to ask about Yuji, because of course okay. having a, a, a background uh, fans and people, uh, it's always important to have as well at the background of the musicians as well too. So I'm asking, so how you ended up in Massive? How you saw your journey into this straight, uh, this straight? I don't want to say straightforward music, straight. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, so, I, well, I've been playing in bands for 30 years. Okay. Um, so, and the last 10 years of that, obviously, have been massive. Um, yeah. So, basically, because the band are all mates, uh, we've moved in the circles in the local city <laughs> in Hull. Um, and one thing led to another, and then we've just sort of you know, cross paths enough to say, right, okay, yeah. it's time it's time to do this together. Um yeah. and so yeah, for the last ten years it's pretty much yeah. uh, been my life uh, as this with, band. Um with them. Other than obviously family, which you've got to, you know Yeah, of course. Gotta give credit to the families and stuff. So but yeah, <laughs> this is this is how it started pretty much yeah. just by being friends. <clears throat> and that's, that's the beauty of it and of course like in, in, in your personal journey if you we would like to say because like we said i was we were talking about before this that this really um raw and, and uh, for me really straight I, I just so let's find a word i don't want to say i've called rock i don't don't, don't no, let it's right. yeah, it's raw. yeah yeah no it is raw yeah yeah the raw sound of uh, massive i in your implant in your life there has been other Influence, musical influences that could be, you know, um, that led you uh, to um, say the hardcore let's say, well, world. Um, yeah, well, I, I guess as anybody, a journey, a musical journey is more, you know, you, you get into your first bands, which was like ACDC, Iron Maiden, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and, the then you meet, and then you meet other people, other musicians, other people, yeah. friends, what have you, and they lead you down a dark path with you know yeah. stuff like you know the hardcore scene and what have you and then yeah. uh and you always sort of find um stuff like i don't know I, I, more recently i've been listening to a sort of more black metal and then oh, really? um uh, but only like i'm not like i'm not in into it i no, like no, no. listening to it i like so oh, the sound of it i'm not like a aficionado on it but yeah. then the hardcore thing the hardcore things just it stuck with me so since like the mid 90s i guess so i think yeah. bands like downset and yeah. bands like that so and sick of it all and what have you and they sort of of course yeah they, yeah I know. yeah so the, color, you know, the, the obvious the ones color. the obvious ones yeah and yeah well, i mean for, for like for influence on our music, though, I yeah. would say 
Uh, and certainly like my lyrics, my lyrical content and stuff yeah. like that. Um, just life in general. I mean, I, I, yeah. I went through uh, quite a traumatic thing. For, I lost a child 14 years ago. Um, so that gave me a lot of bullets for my gun. Um, it just, it, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to deal with and a lot of things you can get off your chest doing this music. Um, so that's that's my main inspiration, and that's probably why the sound of the music is probably very miserable. Oh, not the music, but the lyrics are very miserable, I guess. Although, yeah. you know, in the same context that it's misery, it's also a celebration of my son who we lost, so, you know, it... Yeah, that, that's yeah. the main influence, I guess, mm -hmm. on my music. Yeah. You mentioned that you are the, um, the songwriter of the band. So all, all the lyrics is written by you? or there is The majority, the majority, yeah. Okay. But um, on this, on the precipice, we have, you know, I've <laughs> not let go of the reins so much, but like, because I've, I've never had the reins, but I... Um, Everybody else has been able to put in on it um, and yeah. and had a had a, um, a bigger influence on the lyrics this time. So Jam, our guitarist, um, the song that came out this week, Void, um, yeah. that's that's about his losing his mum because just before we went into the studio, he unfortunately lost his mum, so it gave but him. What's going it on? Gave him I have no idea. Yeah, this year it's a tough. This years, I'd say it's, it's been like. A, a, Lot of people I know. I lost my grandma four months ago, which was like my mom. So let's say, yeah, it's a tough. Yeah, so it, it, you know as well as anybody. Then so yeah. that it does. It gives you the a voice. lot to write about and a lot to get off your chest and <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That's uh, that's for sure because when you have no matter if it's a uh, you know any people surrounding you that you're close to. It's a void that uh, will never be filled up again, and uh, yeah, yeah. hence the yeah. title void. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, if, exactly. you know. yeah. So of course, like you mentioned, that it's already ten years that you guys played all together because the the first EPs were everything equal death and death itself. Yeah, so the death EP, yeah, but they're yeah. they're very very basic. They were done in a well, yeah, they were done. In a very small practice room studio I, situation. The role is um, where possible. Yeah, but everybody everybody's gotta learn how to it's get the best out of their band, out of their music. So you know, it's it's part of the journey. And if we didn't do those, then we wouldn't be where we are. Yeah, of course. It's like a picture, you know, like a you can, you know, like a photo album. Yeah. If you have a picture when you had I don't know, a Polaroid, now you have digital camera. You you always have Polaroid. I think you have as well. Just you know the digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were kids with their parents, uh, relatives, whatever, it's a photo. It's a memory. Yeah, and of, yeah. And of course, I mean, the, I'm, as the first official full length, we could say that is a rank of 2016, or it's a plague. A uh, plague. Plague okay. is the the first proper album. Probably. Rank rank was sort of more of an EP ish. Not more of an EP ish. Let's say let's say yeah, yeah. something in between. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so of course, going from the rawest, uh, let's say going from EPs to full length, it's always kind of let's say of a big step because as well, you know, you have more. There's more work behind it, more songs to be released. As well, I, I think the sound change a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. I mean. That, that yeah. That's part and parcel of our, our music. It, it changes. We're not we're not tied to anything. Uh, we'll we'll when we write, we write in a practice room. So it's the five of us trapped in a room. And when we write, it, it has to be playable. We have to be able to do it live. Um, there's always on the on ev on each album. There's always been a little bit of a sort of. Um, what's the word? Uh, sort of like a more of a not a gimmick but like a, a track that yeah is more written in the studio so okay. it's, it's like on the precipice we have yeah. um cutthroat which has got ethan from primitive man on it um but that's obviously we we will struggle to play that live because it is quite an industrial sounding song okay. um but the rest of them yeah nine, 90 95 percent of tracks that we write 
have to be able to be played live. Live, of course. I mean, uh, that's when you can hear, I think, the, the sound and the core, or the soul itself as well, of uh, Massive. Yeah. Because especially for your sound, you can hear this kind of, um, I don't want to say anger, but this kind of energy throughout yeah. life. It is, it's, yeah. it is anger. It is, a lot yeah. of it is anger. Yeah, it can be Being anger, it can be frustration. Can be sadness, you know, all this emotion that, yeah, yeah, they are negative, okay, but they are part of who we are. And if we yeah. don't accept them and we don't deal with that, we will always be, uh, we will never be free of them. And I think one of the music, exactly. yeah, one of the things that your music do uh, does, and I was listening to that because today has been really a tough day, a rough day, and I listened to that. And I was having this kind of, you know, of uh, feeling. Letting free, letting letting me free. So, your music has this capability of letting this anger, frustration go goes away from the core, and I think that's as yeah. well like of the art core and power. That it has this part, this, this power. This they said the art core, the most underground, the, the DIY scene. Let's call it like that, the DIY scene, because there are so many different names that I don't know which one to is more adapt. But of course, coming back to your music, like you mentioned, so the first full full length official, it's played. And yeah. you were kind of an Ostradamus because this was 2019. You're not <laughs> playing. You knew it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we predicted that one coming out. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> Nostradamus is bang on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> your that, own the, plague, the plague that we were on about was more the plague of... Um, social media and the yeah. the negative side of that yeah. which you know social media we all need it we all well, whether we yeah. need it i don't know but like we all use it and we're yeah. we're all yeah we're here for there's so such a horrible side of it um so that was the plague that we were more on about so like uh, kind of the the side effect that said that we let like, the side effect of social of the yeah. whatever it's a social media internet or whatsoever exactly yeah yeah you and know that, the the, yeah. the mental stress that it puts yeah adults through let alone kids geez you know it's 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 a, a horrible thing but it's unfortunately i don't think it'll ever go away now it's you know and and it Fun. you just have to deal with or work out how to handle it more now yeah, yeah, and then, uh, and if you think about uh, how much, inter especially the social media now, uh, have this power that everyone can be anyone. I mean, yeah. and it's uh, a real. Uh, thank thankfully, there's a lot of documentary out there, uh, things that you can watch or witness and see to uh, to be a little bit more aware. But here, well, you, you, yeah, you catfish programs and stuff like yeah. that. They're the ones. Yeah, they're the ones. Yeah. Uh, it's unbelievable that. People that, do what they do and it, think they can yeah, get away with it. Yeah, even men that um, I don't know, men or even women, because it's a that the same. They try to be stalking men or stalking women. There is a there is uh, on Netflix that there are two documentaries that one one for a man and one for is a woman so, you know, to different <laughs> people, and you're looking like no one is safe. Not even the most well, bravest um, misogyny man, for example, or the most build, bodybuilder woman. No one, it's, it's uh, really, everyone is oh, yeah. no, nobody. To be fair, nobody is what they say they are. No. On social media, that's, it's just, you're, you're, a, you're a, a bullshit front for what you really are. It's the, the good life that you live. Yeah, um, exactly. Everybody only sees the positives. There's a, you know, a few times that, People will share honest things, and then they suddenly get well. Unfortunately, you get a backlash from it. So, yeah. uh, you know, people don't like seeing reality. I don't think no. as much as people don't like posting it. No, because if you because there obviously that has to be this kind of competition of uh, yeah. being uh, just you know scrolling on this uh, whatever app, and you see all like all these people doing this uh, thing, could do anything of being different, being kind of better version of you and you want always to compare to it because it's like always comparing your your version to the other but then you don't know us the other person is actually his maybe she's just you know posting photo from for example a bedroom of uh, i don't know 
just taking a yeah. picture of something and she looks like she's mm. in a foreign country doing something and just the, yeah i mean the ai thing now oh, the, the that's, AI oh my God, please that's just completely frying i i'm scared of that. yeah no, no none of that it's just the the things that people are yeah. twisting on their their stories now is just crazy yeah. I mean, it can be used, I don't know for who, for doing, I don't know, good things, I, I'm not, I have no idea, but I think I, I'm one of the few people in the, really, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't know how to use it, and I don't want to. <laughs> no, you're and, right, I don't either. And it's not part of who I am, because to, to be honest, if you are an artist, if you're a painter, you just are a painter, you don't need a, a fucking AI to, if you're a musician, why the fuck you need to do music with AI if you're a video director? The same. I mean, which is the beauty of the mistakes? You yeah, know? exactly. You learn from your mistakes, don't you? So yeah. that's yeah. It's just it's just a okay. it's a bullshit trick. But I don't know. I, I don't know where that's going to go. There's only yeah. a few people seem to be able to use it, but they use yeah. it very well and they twist what yeah what they're getting out of it and putting into it so yeah but that, that, that's a really bright fresh over that you're giving me Jimmy, because a lot of people nowadays are like uh, enthusiasts you know that really everyone is lobbying and it's out food so every time i am the one okay but you know so thank you for saying that so we can agree <laughs> that's important because i i don't want to sponsorize the lot but at the same time it's good to be like in the, on a natural field you know, yeah, yeah. Like sometimes, but I always, you know, stick with your own idea, if, even if they are wrong for the other, just or always your idea. But of course, like t coming back to the the plague, and it's of course after in right. 2021 there was the, the let's say the last official releases that was in only the pandemic. So how much let's say the pan this beautiful event <laughs> influenced the the um, releasing of uh, your last official EP? Uh, sorry, out of length time. So the the leaving the ashes of the earth the ashes, was yeah. <laughs> it was written uh, before lockdown. Okay. Um, so it was all done, dusted, uh, written wise, um, and then we couldn't get into the studio to record it. Okay. So after the first lockdown, we managed. Luckily, our friend Joe at No Studios in Manchester, um, he was able to open up for days at a time. So we were driving across from where we are, driving a couple hundred miles a day to record for a day and then back out. And so, cause we couldn't stop there. Um, and that's how, so, um, sorry, leaving the ashes of the earth was recorded yeah. mid lockdown. And then, it, and then that's when we got approached by uh, Monarch, uh, Monarch Heavy who we're on now we got approached after we'd recorded and done and finished and they said have you an album and we were like e yeah. yes yeah kind so of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah so that was and yeah. then the roller coaster riders started probably well 2022 when as that sort of ramped up and we were like oh you know it was a hell of a roller coaster ride yeah. that so yeah, That's for a little a little hardcore band from the UK, from a shitty little city in the UK, it's a cool. Oh, it's a, yeah. but it's a, it's it's beautiful because it means your your message, your voice has been heard. I mean, your message has been received by the people, by the audience, by the folk. That's what oh, it, yeah, yeah. that's important. Uh, even if it's a roller coaster. Let's go with the with the. Flow. Oh, it was an enjoy uh, you know, it was an enjoyable roller coaster. It was yeah. it was an uh, it is an amazing roller coaster. So we're we're loving riding on this bloody thing. So it's great. Yeah, because now you are almost about to be releasing the precipice, and of course, uh, like you mentioned, there has been released a uh, um, void like a few yeah. week, few uh, weeks ago. Weeks ago. Uh, yeah. Last uh, was it last Wednesday? I think it came out. Yeah, yeah. So. And the first single was uh, "Serrated." So of course, Serrated, this is the yeah. official one that we can say. Yeah. So that was that was yeah. So when we did that, we you know we had a lot of fun with the video for that. <laughs> if anybody, any of your you know viewers want to see that, go and check it out on uh, YouTube. Yeah, of it's, course. Uh, it, because a lot of bands in our sort of style, they're all serious, trapped in a dark room, very much <laughs> like this. <laughs> trapped in a dark room, you know, grimacing all the rest, and then we went and did it in like a jokey club scene, 
uh, pub club scene. So it's yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. We had a great day that yeah. day. Um, a lot of booze was consumed. <laughs> So let's uh, see kind of with some Sikovitol vibes back then. Uh, yeah, a little bit like, yeah, yeah. And I, I can't think of the track <laughs> where they're doing the dance moves and stuff. So yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're quite a tongue-in-cheek band. We like we like to enjoy ourselves when we're... That's beautiful. Yeah. You can't, you can't be miserable all the time. No, I, I, I mean, the, the music, I mean, already maybe you feel that when you're writing and composing, but when you're going to be playing and uh, recording video clips, shooting video clips, at least that trying to have fun, because already you put all the, the sorrow, let's say, in the music. So let's let it go. Yeah, that's absolutely spot on. Yeah, that's it. We've, <laughs> we've got rid of all the rubbish that we want to get rid of. Yeah, exactly. Let's have, a, let's have a laugh. <laughs> let's, let's, yeah. yeah. So it's paid off because we've had, oh, I mean, the other, I only checked it last week, but we were on about, oh, I can't remember whether it was 35,000 views for the video. So, I mean. My God, that's good. Know, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's crazy. But, I mean, we, you know, we've, we've had more off other ones, which is just, it just blows our minds. I don't know why there's something about Musk that reminds me. I don't know. Don't ask me about what. I don't know if you know this band. If you're aware of this band, about Cancer Butt. Oh yeah. From Can from Canada. They always yeah, yeah, the know, name yeah, yeah. under the name of uh, Bat Sabbath because Bad they do the yeah. Well, yeah. our some of our friends they've just done the UK yeah. tour with them. So acid yeah, acid I, Yeah, I did uh, an interview with them because they are friend. Of one of my friends in Canada, they, they, you know, you know the young guys that are between uh, this Jimmy Sharkcore band, speaking a oh, lot okay. about indigenous music because he's Native American, so he just shut it yeah. out. This kind of like we have to we need to be free, and uh, he went on touring with Cancer Bat, and we did this interview all together. It was you know funny, you know, like having this young kid, uh, say this young guy, and then um, the singer of Cancer Bat. It was really yeah, yeah, fun. Yeah. And I'm thinking, and then speaking with that with him, uh, that reminds me a lot about as well, like uh, this, the the core of your band. And I, like you said, you want to do with I mean, uh, I, no, no, I'll, that is work. one hell of a compliment. If you find us anything yeah. like cancer, that, that's they I'll take amazing. that all day, every day. Yeah, they're amazing. And like I said, that would be amazing and true with them, with them, you uh, in Europe, <laughs> and uh, this guy from Canada that would be amazing. I'm gonna link you this guy from Canada. They are like a dystopia. Like, freaking, oh, okay. amazing, freaking amazing. If you can hear the rage and the anger of this young guy singing, I we need more of these people, I think, because that's open the eye to the society. And especially in some some corrupt I mean the world is corrupt. I mean and there's no places no Oh places. the world is a, the, yeah, I've, I've said it before, the world is an absolute shit plate at the moment. Yeah. It's horrible. I yeah, mean it's we not, can not a good we can so the, the music that we do it does write itself with that so <laughs> the lyrics are, are easy they self-write just because it's just a shithole well, yeah so if, uh, if, if we could just say for example the main if there is a like you were speaking about lyrics one of the main for example topics or theme that you talk in uh, the press is, is uh, about like the, the this what happening in the world it take influences of the the shitty world we have <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. As well. yeah well, you know, it, the precipice is a year old now to us, um, and so the 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 conflicts that we're going through at the moment with Gaza and what have you. I mean, that's just. I'm th not thankfully, I'm not writing the album now because it, <laughs> I have started. We have started writing our next album, so there is a. There is oh, stuff like that, but I mean, it's just, just stuff like that. It's just horrendous. I mean, yeah. how governments how governments are not calling for a ceasefire on this, I don't know. Exactly. But anyway. yeah, yeah, it's well. just crazy. I mean, regardless of Ukraine, what anyone's done, it, it's decimation of a bloody country. Yeah. A million people just right. headed oh. into a corner being bombed to shit. Yeah. It's, you know, it's just crazy how anyone cannot speak up about this politically exactly. wise and we are going both through conflict at the same almost place in the earth to yeah and everyone's scared of saying whatever they want to say because you know rightly or wrongly you've got russia on one side you've got ukraine yeah. you've got blah 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 you've got every oh and everybody nobody dare say shit yeah. 
and it's yeah. it's yeah, it's not a good place to be. So I mean, um, our little our little voices, it it does, you know, exactly. get, get get stuff off our chests, and so that's and then, that's all. Yeah. yeah. So so in a in a future album, in the in the, in the future album, <laughs> there will be a lot to like even more. Yeah. There will be like a, a lot of a, a scream and sorrow to hear in. The, yeah, there'll be probably more rage on it rather than oh, sorrow. Yeah. There'll be, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because everything could be ended just if they want. But but forget about it. About it. But about the, the precipice, there was some song, for example. Of course, we don't want to spoil it, nothing to the the listener. We want to leave it to yeah, yeah. the song. There's some. There was some song apart that that you already released that you really like. I don't know. Or you felt closer to you, or you really had fun recording it or write. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you want to I mean, advise it was all, the, the people to listen? Um, I, no, because I mean the whole thing as a as a unit, uh, okay. you know, it's, it was all, it's all. I know we say we're negative, but it is a. It's just fun to be in a studio with my friends That's doing what we do. Um, I think you know, Void is a very close one to all our hearts because it is. <laughs> All right, it's about Jam's mum, but it's also just about loss in general. Um, yeah. And I know that sounds stupid saying that it's fun, but it's you know it's it's a great track. It was it's fun to yeah. play. It's Sometimes, fun to play yeah. loud. So we, I, you know, I like that one, and I think Bite Radius is probably one of my favourites on the album, yeah. um, which is the opener, and it's it is vicious it's like a shark attack that's where the name bite radius came from it's it's it is fueled by hatred that yeah and i mean how for example people that let's say they never had a chance to see you perform live what they can expect from one of uh, massive ma massive live shows uh what can they expect from us god damn uh <laughs> in your face aggression um relentless bloody guitar tone <laughs> hm2 attack um yeah. uh, and we just i i like i was asked by somebody that about gigs and playing bigger gigs and festivals yeah. and whatever but as a band i think we prefer a smaller stage just because mm -hmm. you're in the people's faces and they're in your yeah. face and just, you get to see you get to enjoy you see the enjoyment yeah, I mean, I feel like I hear I like this way of play music, you know, because I it, festival is beautiful. I mean, everything is beautiful, the test, but I don't know if because I'm getting older, but I'm just gonna prefer more coming back to genuine it. So, which is really genuine and it means integrity and real and less big or whatever. So, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. it's coming back because I, when I was 14, I was listening to Sick of It All too, and then I got changed, and now I'm coming back. Like that, that's yeah. why I was mentioning a cancer bat and this band they called the Ethereal Tomb. And I'm really like you hearing like the same thing you're telling to me. I this friend of mine saying from this Canadian band and cancer bat as well. This is a yeah. reality that nowadays is moving all around the Europe about your own movement, musical movement, which is freedom and freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah. And all of you band are moving really like in the DIY scene but making a lot of noise and in the future your music is gonna be the one that's gonna take the place yeah 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 and it crosses every boundary doesn't it, it yeah. not, there's no there's no limits on on a song going anywhere yeah. or there shouldn't yeah. be yeah so that's why i just if we can have more bands like yours just have it i'm gonna just take my bass again i'm gonna play I'm gonna make yeah yeah out. yeah well they keep trying to uh, yeah. ruin it for us all by putting limits on movement and you know yeah. as as musicians now we have to spend a lot more on um uh, visas and working visas yeah, just to exactly. get to europe and it's just it's crazy yeah but even just doing physical copy of your own cds for example and then people said it's too expensive i can't yeah but don't you think yeah, well, that i went through be behind it you still need to. You st I think CDs and vinyl, obviously, and tapes. You know, they'll. I don't think they'll ever die because you know the the CD thing tried to not kill off vinyl, but, but 
think people realize that holding a, a holding something in their hands it's different yeah it is it's just it's it's nice to hold vinyl yeah. and be able to see the artwork properly and be able to exactly. read about you know obviously you can read it on cds and tapes but oh. be able to see the artwork is the prime thing for us you know yes. we we love our uh the guy who does our artwork the true spilt milk yeah. he's just a genius he goes yeah. away with the album and comes back with whatever yeah. it is at the time. so you know that's so so basically we can say that and that on the 22nd of march there's gonna be as well physical copy available of your album oh yeah 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 there there'll oh. be yeah we've got a pile of them we've got boxes and boxes of them, so I mean, yeah you're planning some live shows or something already for the the upcoming release or just your okay for i mean yeah, so we're, we're, doing a, we're doing a uk so we're doing okay. a uk so at the yeah. moment or oh, just uk um, around United. Just UK at the moment so we'll see yeah. what happens yeah the problem is this, this. fingers crossed we the get problem to... is that fucking it's even for me if i want to come to visit uk now i have to and these are come on we already been in one country mm. it's a fucking hilarious place it's, it's a joke but anyway yeah, yeah. we are the same country i mean we're the same land the same whatever but just forget yeah it. yeah yeah, yeah. Let's be is, united under, idiots, yeah. So. just let's be united under music at least <laughs> or under the same ethical yeah, exactly. uh, uh, social meaning so we have this uh just some we had there's some other single that is coming up before the releases or we are gonna go straight um, to the release I, th I think there is supposed okay. to be but we still don't know which one the the company of okay, we can, the, so let's say that the fan and the people can wait something coming in this before let's say this 20 days yeah there's something else coming i believe but i don't know okay. i have not as stupid as it is, I should know these things, but no, no uh, the no, record label have not let no. us know what, yeah, no. what they'd like to do. Not that they're telling us what to do because they're no. great. But. I mean, you wouldn't be under label under, otherwise. No, of no. course. Let's let's say it. You, you wouldn't be just by yourself. Let's say, yeah. record label is not always able. Come on, I work with them. I know, I know them very well. That some yeah. are, some are, some are not. So some are. Yeah, yeah Mon Monica. Yeah, Monica have been yeah so cool to us unbelievably yeah. cool that's and sometimes um, this label they give you really the right type of int that you need sometimes maybe they are forgetting they help you to be a little bit at ease with your own job which is already a lot the production and the distribution it's sometimes you need that and yeah 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 sometimes you need a little yeah. bit of uh, oh no go and open yeah go and have a look behind that yeah. door don't yeah not go that way let's go this way exactly exactly so jim i really hope to see you in europe and maybe with cancer but i would love that, oh, that would be, yeah i'm gonna send you this band from my dad i think you're gonna be yeah, do, please, you're, please, you're gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. you're gonna be homie like he said like you're gonna be homie with this band and i think and i know maybe next interview i will be have you cancer bath and them that would be a freaking cool interview I'll be, yeah i'll be How happy with that spread the freedom of speech no matter what is the message indigenous people free being free of our freaking government it better it is that's what i want to do that we have we have we need to say all, all what we want to say without being censored that's yeah yeah definitely completely yeah well people like yourselves you know and poison rock are helping spread those sort of words about yes so. yes Thank so you. you can count always on us if you want to say a fucking message count on us on me <laughs> whatever, at least thank you for everything and uh see you in the, in the following interviews possibly or around the the, the web the social media world for the moment yeah, cool. yeah, yeah the, the social media hellhole <laughs> yeah have a good evening Jim, and thank you so much thank you. lovely to meet bye. you thank you Cheers, bye. Bye.